Good morning. Happy last day of November. Cheers. Cheers. Love, Love you. you. Good morning, everyone. Howdy. Happy Christmas time. <sighs> Thanksgiving is over and it is time to start the Christmasing. Let the Christmasing begin, right? Yep, we uh, got everything done. Uh, our, the autumn stuff down yesterday. But um, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We hope that you did too. Yeah. Got to spend it, of course, with Ashley and Kent in Salem. Yeah. Good um, day. Yes, it was very nice. Very good day. The turkey did something that we have never seen before. You know how they have pop-up timers on them? And the timer pops out? The turkey popped out. It <laughs> well, just exploded. Popped out <laughs> really early. And it was like, there's no way this turkey could be done already. So we put it back in. And it, um, it just... It was so moist and cooked. We kept, kept turning it over into the juices. And what ended up happening is the meat fell right off the bone. I mean, you pulled a bone and all the meat was off of it. It was great. It was nice and moist and delicious. It was ridiculous. I've I, never seen turkey explode. Only I mean, on, on the Christmas vacation. Yeah. That was because it was dry. This one was not Totally dry. the opposite. But... It, yeah. Just explode. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, it just, just split apart. <laughs> yep. But the meat, it was so good, so moist. We're thinking we'll do that every year. <laughs> but we just, we want to thank Joe and Jan for giving us the turkey. Oh my gosh. Our friends that were in Pahrump and they were cleaning out their refrigerator and freezers because they were moving up to Washington <laughs> gave us this turkey. It's been in our freezer. Thank you guys. It was an yes, incredible it bird. It was really good. And Kent did a great job. Um, cooking it and it was just great it wasn't pretty Thanksgiving turkey but it made a beautiful big platter of meat that was so easy to to uh, to get pick off at of, yeah to pick at and to get off of the bo the bones it was ridiculous it was, it was there great. was you know you went, you went to pick up a turkey leg and all you had was a bone because as soon as you picked it up the meat just fell off the bone I couldn't believe so it so good so I've moist. never seen a bird yep. do what this one did it yep. was just crazy but it God was, it was delicious <laughs> it was really good um, we did our little thanks miss with the kids yep. and they enjoyed their gifts and Ashley made us a cute little plaque it says oh the places you'll go oh it's Ooh. really cute it's right there honey if you want to get it show it it's right there above the cards she makes these isn't that cute? That's pretty cool. You know, got a little hanger on the back of it. Yep. So that was awesome. Perfect. Perfect for us. We told it's, them, don't get us anything. It's perfect in an RV because you don't have a lot of wall space and that hangs in a perfect little spot. It's yep. like that wide. Yep. So it's absolutely perfect. 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 Thank you, Ashley. So, yes. Thank you, Ashley and Ken. <laughs> um, so stepping back now to Saturday when we left y'all go back in time great Scott the flux capacitor <laughs> at our beckon <laughs> so after we talked to you all we did we took that turkey said turkey we took it into uh, Ashley and Kent because they have a bigger refrigerator to be able to have a big turkey thawing out in the refrigerator so we did that and afterwards we went to go have lunch with some friends of ours that we made a few years ago. Are you going to speak? Yeah, I'm just listening. Oh. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride this time. No. You're the driver on this one. No, you can talk. <laughs> I only start it because you say you can't read the board. We got to spend time with Ray and Ann of Love Your RV. At loveyourrv.com. And it so was so maybe cool. some of you subscribe to them. If you don't, you should. We love these guys. Ray They're awesome. is great. He does a lot of repairs and modifications himself. Yeah. He gets offered a lot of um, products to review. And um, they're just super, super nice people. Yeah, Anne is are. an amazing photographer. She yeah. teaches photography classes. And if I'm not mistaken, in their video descriptions, they have her information. Yeah, I um, think so. It's Anne McKinnell Photography. 
but um, it was so cool just to sit down and have lunch with the two of them and just sit and chit chat and we've done that in the past a couple times yeah, but, we met them uh, a few years ago, here, actually here yeah. in Bakersfield. Um, yeah. I knew they were passing through, mm -hmm. reached out, and Ray answered me. And so we went and met him. And then uh, the year later, we met up with them in um, Ogilby. Ogilby, Road. Ogilby Road. They Down came over the for like a, a happy hour. And then yeah. we saw them again at Cibola. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew that they were traveling passing through here again so I reached out to him and asked you know if they had time and he said that they had a few other people that wanted to meet up too so we were all going to meet up for lunch uh, somewhere <laughs> near where they had an errand to run so um, we got there and we were the only ones there and they said oh yeah the other people couldn't make it and I went yay <laughs> we got them all to, got ourselves. Them all to ourselves so that was really nice <laughs> But Not it was, that it wouldn't have been fun meeting other people too, but it since was great spending time. Our with time them. with them is so yeah. rare. Yeah. Um, it's, it was nice to have them to ourselves. Yeah. Selfishly. So that was that was fun. And then Sunday, what did we do? What did we do on Sunday? We went and spent a Dean day with our grandson Dean, and uh, actually went over to Ashley and Kent's, picked him up, took him out to lunch, and then we went birthday and Christmas shopping for him and let him kind of pick out his own stuff. Yep. Since we rare, I mean, we haven't been around here for his birthday, which is in the beginning of September in a long time. Yeah. So we kind of miss out on that. So we thought we'll just combine his birthday and Christmas event together. So took him to lunch, his choice, went to get his gifts, and then he ran a couple errands with us too. So yeah. Um, it was fun. It was, it was a, a good day. fun day. Yeah, he was so cute doing his little shopping because um, he was, you know, asking, is that okay? Is that okay? And I was like, yep, get that. Yep, get that. You know, most kids going down the aisle will just grab crap and throw it in a cart. Not yep. this one. Yeah, he was very particular, <laughs> and it was cute because he, he loves to read and he loves to do art. So he actually got those types of things. He got yeah. two books and some art stuff and, um, and we didn't lead him to the books or the art stuff i mean this choice. was this is what he wanted yep we asked him what he wanted yeah so we asked him when he got in the truck you know when we started on our way to lunch and stuff to, for him to start thinking about what he might want mm -hmm. so <clears throat> pretty cool day yeah it was a great day we got to got to spend some dean time because we don't always get to see him he's not always at ashley and kent's yeah. so um they switch off every other week yeah <clears throat> so then well, all the fun on uh, Saturday and Sunday. We needed to work on Monday. Monday so was just a down some, day. We stayed in here and got work done. And then yeah. Tuesday. And then Tuesday eh, was not a not a fun day. Um, we had a, a funeral to go to. Um, someone that Tom worked with and was close with uh, lost her husband very unexpectedly. He was a uh, sheriff in the area. Yep. So it was one of the biggest funerals I've ever been to. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people come to pay their respects, a well-known family. Um, and uh, so that was not a fun day. It was actually the same day my aunt's funeral was, but that was up in Northern California, and we couldn't make it to that. So, so that wasn't a very good day. Yeah. And then when we got home, we had to kind of prepare for an upcoming storm. It was, a, if you call it a storm. Well, for here, it's You know, it was a rain event is basically what it was. There was really no storm here. Rain and wind. Snow up in the mountains, rain down here in the valley. and yeah, they little, got a lot of snow up in the mountains. A little bit of uh, wind down here, but, it, you know, it really wasn't that bad here. But they got almost a foot of snow right around Bakersfield within 24, 25 miles of here. Yeah, up where we used to live, crazy. they have at least 14 inches of snow. We have a friend Just that still lives up there. Crazy and, amount of snow yep. up there. The thing about the snow here, though, it's kind of, it's so different from what I'm accustomed to growing up and living in the Midwest for half my life and then living in the Reno area all those years, it's going to be gone. I mean, 14 inches of snow will be gone in 24 to 48 hours, and there won't be a trace left. Their highs are supposed to be back up in the mid-50s, maybe even 65 here in the next several days. So. It falls, it accumulates, it disappears. <laughs> yep, so it won't be... T by the time that we would have a plan to go up there and visit, it would be gone. It'd be gone. 
have to go up there on that day. But then they yeah. closed the highways down. Yeah. So both the interstate, the the interstate or the 58. interstate five and highway fifty eight, they shut them both down. Yep. They just don't have the equipment here in the Southern California area to clean the roads, and, and that's why they stupid. close them down so quickly. People are stupid too. They don't know how to drive. Who's stupid? The cow of crap of <laughs> um, Which it. what's funny is though when we lived up in Lebec. And we knew that it was going to snow or there was a threat of it. Tom would take our Kia to work because he worked down here in, in Bakersfield. And when they would close the highway, Tom would just go up to the cop, talk to him. They'd see that we had a four-wheel drive. Tom would say, we lived in Montana. They'd go, go ahead. They just waited There were a couple through. of times when he was the only one on the road heading up there. You know, it's like, here's, here's our driver's license. Here's my address. Four-wheel drive. I got chains in the back. I'm from Montana. We used to live there. And he goes, wave me through the line of cars, and they're turning everybody else around. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so that was good, because there were a couple of times we thought, okay, you're just going to have to stay in the hotel down at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. But it, it never had to happen. Yeah. So, um, you know, in preparation for the storm... We took our flag down because they were supposed to be high winds. Supposed to, and you shouldn't have that flag up. I think it said 30 or 35 mile an hour wind gust. Yeah, it's been up there with some, some winds that were unexpected and it survived. So we pulled it all down just yeah. to be safe, put the barbecue, uh, the grill away. Yeah. And, I don't want it to get all rusty you know, like our other one did, so, so I try to put it away when it's going to rain. You got all that stuff but, taken care of. Yep, yeah, got that done, and we had just a. Uh, we do that evening i don't know who knows <laughs> who knows and then wednesday was baking day for this one this one this one did the bacon i did cranberry <clears throat> bread pumpkin bread if you've seen our videos from the last year a year before whatever or if you even saw just thursday's video our thanksgiving oh, day yeah. video it's got pictures of everything that she baked so go uh it's got some video got pictures and stuff like that yeah um <laughs> yep, so I did that and just got the rest of stuff to get ready to go over to Ashley and Kent's um, on Thursday because you know, I like taking some of my utensils that I have uh, just because I'm used to using them and not, you know, sometimes we both are needing the same thing when Kent, Kent and I do the dinner. And so just got everything ready to go and um, I was tired. I was on my feet all day long. Of course, it's nothing compared to what I used to do. Yeah. When we were in our sticks and bricks, and especially when we were in Reno, we had always had a bunch of people over. And Wednesday was my baking day, and I would start at like 3 o'clock in the morning when he left for work. I would start with, because I would do breads and pies and ham, and I would do all the prep for, you know, all the hors d'oeuvres and all that kind of stuff. So baking day, and then he would come home. And it's like, what's for dinner? And I'm like, uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> but everything would smell so good. You know, he'd be going crazy. But, um. Hey, it smells good in here Wednesday. Yeah, it did. I was waiting for people to come knocking at the door like, what are you doing in there? Which is kind of odd because most every day it stinks in here. <sighs> That's not I'm true. kidding. I'm Jeez. kidding. It well, smelled better than normal. Well, that I'll go for, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Then Thursday morning, we were lazing around in bed, and I looked at the clock, and it was like quarter to nine. I went, <gasps> We're still laying in bed at quarter to nine. I What's know. wrong with that? It's awesome. It's awesome. We get Turkey to do that day once morning. in a while. Yep. I said, I want to watch the parade, please. Can we get the TV hooked up? Because we don't always use it, and we've been trying not to use the um, shore power. We've been using our solar a lot, so it wasn't plugged in. Nothing else was done. We hadn't put the antenna up or anything. And it was like, I want to watch the parade while I finish getting stuff ready. Parade girl here. I love a parade. <laughs> Let's have a parade! <laughs> so... Tom got everything ready for me so I could watch my parade, and um, so I did that, and then we yeah. went over to the kids, and we had our wonderful day, and... Um, and then, then yesterday was a leftovers day. Yeah, and it was kind of... I, I had written on the board that it was relaxed day, because we just yeah. started slowly, we weren't doing really anything, and then we got busy vacuuming, and we 
took up all the uh, heater vents, all the furnace vents off the floor. When's the last time you oh did that in your RV? Gosh. Oh, a lot of people don't have them in the floor. They've True. got ceiling They've vents. Got ceiling Ours vents. are in the floor. So they accumulate dirt and rocks and gravel and, and sand pet hair. and pet hair and oh my, oh gosh. my god. So we unscrewed them all, picked them all up, uh, sifted through to make sure that there wasn't anything important in there that had fallen through, like no an gold, earring of mine. No had, gold nuggets or anything like that. An earring of mine had fallen <laughs> into the bathroom one. No bacon bits. Uh. <laughs> hey. You're not going to lose any kind of bacon, not even a bit of it, down into the heater vent. So we got that all done and all the autumn decorations taken down. And then we started watching Christmas movies last night. Yep. We had hot, hot chocolate. We had hot chocolate. Yep. And watched a couple Christmas Cranberry movies. Cranberry bread and watched some... Uh, we watched Elf and Elf then and Home Alone. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> I consider that a Christmas movie. So it kind of is. That one and the second one we do too. Yeah. So that's one thing I do take with us all the time is we always have our Christmas DVDs because I gotta have my Christmas movies and um, we don't get the Hallmark Channel. So I gotta have, and I like our, my traditional favorites. Like I took with us um, to Ashley and Kent's, I took my computer and I took Miracle on 34th Street. That is my Thanksgiving movie. Yeah. Every year. Every she year. She has to watch that on Thanksgiving it. Day. It's the kickoff to the Christmas movie. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> so I took my computer with me so I could watch it in the kitchen while I was helping Kent do everything. And he was helping take care of Salem. And, and uh, Ashley had gone to work earlier in the morning. She actually had a couple clients to do hair Excuse me. on Thanksgiving morning. So I uh, got to watch that. On Thanksgiving. Yeah. But uh, we do take them with us because we never know. If we store them in Reno, we may not be back there to get my Christmas movies, and that would not be a good thing. No, it wouldn't be pleasant inside the RV. No, it wouldn't. Would I'm it be pleasant within 100 feet of this RV? <laughs> Jeez, I'm not that bad. I could be, though. We don't know because I always have them with us. So. Oh, man. And that's about it. That's our week. That was it. Yeah, we had a, a pretty pretty busy, fun fun week for the yeah. most part. Did anybody go Black Friday shopping? Did you do it on Turkey Day? Did you do it yesterday? Or are you doing it today or tomorrow, this weekend? Do you even do that? Or did you already finish your Christmas shopping? Or do you do it online? Yeah, do you, do you shop do through our Amazon <laughs> link? If you do it online, wink, we have wink, an Amazon wink. affiliate link below. Yep. Click through. Use our link first, then sign on with your regular sign on. It doesn't increase prices or anything like that. And also, we get a little bitty percentage, and we want to thank everybody who's been using it. Big time. So thank much. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, um, my Crafty Stuff and More link is in the description below if you want to look, go shopping there for Crafty Stuff and More. Yep. Crafty Stuff and More. <laughs> yeah. She's got all kinds of handmade. Earrings and jewelry, jewelry some Christmas and Christmas theme stuff. Yeah, and for the kitchen, like uh, uh, the dish towels. Yeah, and things like that. Pot holders and that stuff. she makes. Yeah. It's and all scarves. Up there. So we'll um, throw that link up down there too. Yeah, I think that made sense. <laughs> throw it up. <laughs> throw it up there. <sighs> well, like it, we said, we hope that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and that you are. Yeah. Ready for the Christmas time season. Um, we are. Who's ready for a joke? Here I am. That's not funny. Ta-da! <laughs> what sounds like a sneeze and is made of leather? A shoe. A shoe. A Bless shoe. You. Bless you. I know, I'm stretching. I'm still full of turkey. Or something. Yeah, full of something. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't, click the subscribe and join our family. Yes. We appreciate our it. Click the bell, family. get notified every time we put up a brand new video. And remember to use that Amazon link. Is that it? I think so. I guess. Oh, I think I was going to talk about. Oh, yes, I have a tip for you. Mm. Okay. So, Thursday when we came home from. Kent and Ashley's, it was dark outside, and we come up, 
and the manager to the park has his car with his headlights pointed towards oh. the main building and there is water everywhere and granted it rained but this wasn't rainwater. no a pipe main pipe had broken for the uh water throughout the campground so we come home and think oh no we're not going to have any water well the next morning we got up and there was no water they had shut it off to while they repair well, yeah to the do line. the repairs <clears throat> so my tip is even if you are parked in an rv park make sure you have at least a third of a tank of water in your freshwater tank because you never know when something's going to happen like something like that happened to us a few years ago um, at an RV park where they were out of power and the power ran there well so there was no water so always have water on board and luckily we did we had about a th we, we still do we got yeah. about a third of a tank full even though we're sitting in an RV park so yes that way so it's that's always a backup a tip to always <clears throat> you know and it's like sh she's like uh oh there's no water and I'm like turn the pump on we got water in our tank yep and I have some jugs of water for drinking water and all that that's you know all the filtered yeah. stuff and um, but always have that ready you yeah. never know and going back even a few more years it came in handy when our radiator broke on our truck. Same thing, having traveling water, down the road. Yep, having water in our tank. <laughs> we were able extra, to fill jugs. Extra water to yep. pour back into the truck. So, yes, it's some weight. <coughs> However, when you're sitting still, you know, it's not weight to carry, but we still recommend carrying several gallons of water in your fresh water tank. So with that, have a great Saturday. Have a wonderful week. And we will see ya. See ya. Okay, no, no funny antidote, no snarky remarks about getting oatmeal, no, no. boy. It just doesn't pay off anyway, so. Well. Maybe I'll just go down the street to the Denny's. I have a coupon for you.